Welcome to Seattle Maritime Matters. Hi, I'm Ken Saunders with the Seattle Propeller Club. And today we're with Jeff Horst, who is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Boss Maritime. Hey, thanks for joining us today, Jeff. Hey, Ken, it's great to see you again. Hey, Jeff, why don't we start off with having you share a little bit about Boss Maritime and its history? Well, uh, that's a long story, but we'll try to make it short. Uh, so FOSS was founded in uh, 1889 on the Tacoma waterfront. Um, our founders, um, uh, Thea Foss, uh, Henry and Thea Foss, uh, started renting rowboats on the Tacoma waterfront. Um, and it, today, 133 years later, uh, it is the uh, largest tugboat company on the U.S. West Coast and one of the most recognizable uh, maritime brands in the world. It is a great story. Uh, Foss is a leader in global logistics and transportation, Jeff, and, and most people around here are very familiar with your iconic green tugboats, but the company is also deeply involved with a variety of other services, one of which is supporting the development of offshore wind projects. Tell us a little about that important initiative. Well, it's uh, it's really the future of the company. Um, you know, we, uh, Foss and our, our sister companies that are in the tugboat uh, uh, space, we we have 11, 12 different lines of business. And one of them, our new line of business is, is offshore wind, maritime support of offshore wind construction um, and operations. So uh, the first US-based funded approved moving forward project is the Vineyard Wind Project in Massachusetts. Um, FOSS has been working with the construction companies involved in that project for well over 10 years. And uh, we're just going to be commencing that project, um, uh, going live and operating uh, tugs and barges in support of that project this summer. Um, but yeah, off the coast of Massachusetts, and uh, it's it's really um, uh, that is the first U.S. project on the East Coast. Then it will we'll see other projects come online in New York and Virginia and in other places, and eventually those um, those projects will come to the West Coast. But um, we got the first merit badge. Uh, uh, as the, per the first maritime services provider in the wind space, in the offshore wind construction space. What an exciting idea and project. It seems like every day FOSS is in the news with some unique project, everything from escorting historic Navy vessels to their final homes, to supporting disaster recovery efforts, and from escorting massive cargo to safely bringing in the largest container ship ever to call in the city of Seattle. Tell us about some of your favorite recent projects at FOSS. Well, the, I think one of the, the things you got to start with is having a capable fleet in order to be able to execute those projects. So um, you know, I would say you know, 40, 45 percent of our business is what we do inside the harbors. And we have a very capable fleet to do that. And the other um, and, and a big chunk of our, our revenues also comes from this offshore work that we do. So uh, indeed, last year we took a, a four month plus voyage uh, to uh, tow the USS Kitty Hawk. Um, a retired um, aircraft carrier around the South, uh, around the Cape Horn, South America, and back up to Texas uh, to go to a scrapyard. Um, we've done a large module uh, projects up to Alaska. We do the Boeing, oversized Boeing um, containers uh, moving up to the Port of Everett on tugs and barges. Uh, we have a line handling service. We do uh, uh, pilot boats and um, and all sorts of these uh, activities outside just what you see in the harbor in terms of a ship, uh, a tugboat handling a ship to the dock. So on the project side, um, I always say with regards to our team that if you have a, if you have a project to execute that's got to tow something uh, to Hawaii, to the East Coast, to South America, whatever. Um, if your job depends on a, if your job depends on it, you should call FOSS Maritime. We've got a lot of experience in um, in executing in that space. And I know one of the big values that FOSS also has is environmental stewardship. Why is that so important to FOSS? Well, we operate in in uh, not only one of the most beautiful um, uh, places in the world, uh, uh, the Puget Sound, the Columbia River, San Francisco Bay. Uh, Hawaii, California, uh, Cook Inlet, Alaska. Uh, you know, we operate in some of not only the most beautiful places in the world, but really the most, some of the most environmentally play, uh, sensitive places in the world. So we have to be good stewards of the environment. Uh, we have to um, employ the most uh, uh, technologically advanced um, equipment in order to reduce our emissions, reduce our fuel consumption, uh, reduce our particulate matter into the atmosphere 
And so we're, we take that very, very important. Jeff, you've been with Foss since 2007. Why is working in the industry such a great career opportunity for folks? Well, it's, uh, I, I, first and foremost, anybody that asks me, uh, what we do is interesting. Um, when I tell people I'm the vice president of sales for Foss Maritime, uh, they, they, they have always have a lot of questions. There's, there's a romance to tugboats and, and to uh, working on, on, the, uh, um, on the seas and, and working in tugboats and working along big equipment and doing large projects. There's, a, there's really a, uh, it's really, I would say cool is the best word I could uh, use to describe it. it is, it's certainly not boring. It takes a tremendous amount of teamwork. Uh, they have, uh, the, the, you know, we have a, a very diverse workforce that works the very diverse uh, work schedules. If you work on a boat, you can work on a day boat. You can work on a boat that is operates uh, two weeks on, two weeks off. You can work on a tugboat that works two months on, two months off. Um, a lot of our mariners don't even live in Washington or Oregon or California. They live in Nevada or um, or Montana and come in uh, to uh, to the location to hop on a boat to go and work for two weeks or two months. Um, so it's it's a really it's really interesting work. The pay is really good. The benefits are really good. Um, we have employees that work 30, 40 years with the company. Uh, legacy employees that have their children, children and grandchildren uh, work for the company. So um, again, if you're going to do something and spend a lot of time a daily, if I could use the word grind, on a job, you might as well make it be an interesting one. And uh, I think what we do, even if you're working short side in the office or working on a boat or any, anywhere in between that supports those, uh, those services, it's, uh, it's an interesting, very interesting um, company and service to be involved with. It is a great career. You're just uh, thinking about all the technology that's involved with it. It's really a high tech uh, type of opportunity as well. But Jeff, I really love your passion for the industry. Why are you so optimistic about the future of the maritime industry? Well, it's it's first of all, it's it's critical to the commerce of not only the the, the ports that we service, but for America and the world. Um, ships that bring in containers um, or projects or uh, uh, crude oil or or whatever it might be uh, is is either processed or, or or used locally or is distributed throughout the United States. Similarly, on the export side, uh, we do a lot of uh, business with the grain industry, both in the Columbia River and in the Puget Sound, and so soybeans and wheat and corn that gets exported off the West Coast to Japan, Korea, China, um, and other uh, uh, locations is is kind of essential to the movement, the commerce of not only the local ports that we service, but the, really the whole country and the whole world. So um, again, it gets back to my interest, you know, it being interesting, it's it's movement, it's logistics, it's world commerce. Uh, business kind of comes and goes as uh, crops might not be as good that year, or might be great that year. So we do a lot of, we do a lot of export of grain or, or last year we saw this big surge on the container side with the backlog of the pandemic, um, imports of the pandemic. And everybody saw on the news um, in the port of LA and Long Beach where the container ships were stacked up outside the breakwater waiting to dock. So um, again, it's, 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 it's never a dull day, a lot of moving parts, a lot of teamwork. And uh, you know, we're only as, we're only as, as good as our, our weakest link. And, and we don't have very many weak links because uh, things, the equipment continues to work. The crews continues to operate safe. The um, our customers continue to employ our services, and the ships keep coming. So, um, it's it, this industry's got a great future. Uh, I highly recommend it to anybody, whether uh, you're working finance in the office or working as a deckhand on a boat. Um, it, it's a it's a fascinating industry, and and we're a great company to work.